Hi everybody, Paul here. And in today's video, we're gonna build a client onboarding automation. In this specific one, we're gonna help an SMMA, but it is just the base so you can actually iterate it and build upon so that it works for every niche. Now, I've talked to a lot of people that work for small businesses or uh, are even part of medium scale businesses and they still do the onboarding process manually. I mean, this could take like 20 to 30 minutes per client. Let's say you have 10 clients a day, that's 300 minutes, five hours just on the onboarding process alone. Something that you can change with just a few clicks. So I think this automation is pretty valuable. Now, let's see how this actually works. Firstly, it starts with a form with the specific information needed for the onboarding process, like name, email, what services you, provi you provide, and of course you can add a lot, a lot more. We just stuck to three because so today we're gonna make just a simple example for an onboarding process, but you can add on that a lot, a lot more. After that, a new client task is being formed in the ClickUp CRM. So all the information from the type are being populated into ClickUp and creating a new task for that specific client. Then a custom welcome email letter is being sent with the information provided from the form. It's gonna be custom, so it's not gonna be like a single template, hello, welcome to our team. It's gonna be custom based upon what information he provided in that form. And then after that, a new Google Drive template is being activated and creates a folder with three subfolders three, not two, for content dump, legal documents, and the deliverables. So this is gonna be a first part of a two part video. Today, we're just gonna build the base uh, for the onboarding process and like the skeleton. And after that, uh, in the next video, we're gonna try and build some more fun stuff, like uh, this cool feature where you can dump the world with ideas and images to make the post for the clients in the deliverables drive folder automatically by AI. So first of all, we're gonna look at the logical steps needed to actually make this automation. First of all, we have to find the necessary information needed to fill that type form in order for us to onboard that client. So like, do we need the name, do we need the email, do we need the phone number, do we need an address, and that type, that type of stuff. After that, we have to connect the form to a ClickUp folder named onboarding, or whatever you want to call it, with custom fields to keep track of all the information provided. After that, when a form is created, send a personalized email welcoming letter which is being written by AI and is personalized based on the form submission and after that once the form is created create a new Google Drive with three subfolders and send the sharing link to that person via email these are the logical steps now uh, let's see how this automation actually looks like in make.com now we're gonna take a deeper dive into each module and see exactly what each module does. So first of all, it all starts with an onboarding form being completed in type form. I'm using type form right now. It's a very simple form that I've created where you actually request the client name, contact email, company name, and the services requested. For today's purpose, uh, an example, short form content and long form content are the services that can be requested. After this form is being completed, then this automation instantly starts. Okay, so the first branch is actually creating the client task in the ClickUp CRM. So actually populating a task with all the information provided from the form. It's not very complicated, complicated here in many of the fields because in the task name, you put a company name. In uh, the email, field, you put the email, his name, and uh, the welcoming letter you send to pending because it hasn't been sent yet. What is a bit more complicated is that service because if you actually use this type of, um, of field, which is like a tag field, where you can choose short form, long form, or either one of them. You have some trickery to do. You have two options right here, short form content or long form content. If you map them, they each have a code. I saved them right here. I'm pretty lazy, but we're gonna, we're gonna do with what we have. So you have the codes of them here for the short form and the long form content. In order for make.com to actually watch and see what uh, the client has selected within that form, you have to use the switch formula. It's not really complicated. 
it actually ex explains it uh, here to you. So if it is B, you have option A, which is one, and option B, which is two. And if it is B, it outputs two. So for this one in particular, we're gonna we're gonna use this. So switch. After that, you're gonna put the service uh, service requested. So if the service requested is uh, the short form content, short form content, you output the short form content code, which is right here. And if it is long form content, you're gonna actually put the other code. And that is about it. It is going to then save it based upon what the client actually typed in the form and it's gonna populate it correctly in the onboarding process. So the second branch is actually the sending of the custom email letter. First of all, we have a uh, create a completion module from ChatGPT. I'm using GPT 4.0 mini. You can actually use a lot more, but I'm, I'm used to 4.0 mini and um, I think it works pretty good. First of all, is an assistant message with this particular message, but of course you can be uh, more specific based on what you actually need. You're a professional personal assistant that is welcoming onboarding clients for my foreign policy. Make you will only create emails, emails that are fun, professional, and very human-like. I want you to always output only the email. This is very important because if you don't put this, then it's going to actually maybe explain the email. So you don't want that, of course, to, to send to your clients. And do not use any emojis. ChatGPT tends to be pretty funny and um, use a lot of emojis, which they are, they are fun, they are cool, but... They're not really that professional in my opinion, so I do not want them in my um, in my welcoming letter. After that, you need the second message, which is a user message, where uh, you tell the uh, you tell the um, uh, what you want it to build. So I want you to build a welcoming letter for our new clients. You have to be fun and professional. I will give you an example, and you have to give them an example, of course, so that you can actually have a template based upon the. Um, welcoming letter is written so first of all here we have hey and his name when he completes the form he will type his name like andrew huberman so first name last name so in order to just get the first name you're gonna have to use two formulas the get formula and the split formula the get formula is pretty easy too it gets from an array a certain object so get the first from the array actually is we're splitting the client's name into two parts. So Andrew, first name, Huberman, last name. And we are telling him to only pick the first one. So only picks Andrew. So that the message is, hey, Andrew. These are two break line codes. BR uh, stands for break and uh, it's like typing enter. You actually have to type these ones in the message content because otherwise it's gonna, um, uh, it's gonna output just a long line and it's not really aesthetic it's not really email like and then you're gonna use like a simple template where you actually specify the company name and the services requested so this is the content you can pause and you can uh, you can actually write it uh, yourself after that it's another system or uh, message content where you actually say what's the client name company name service requested and what is your name actually what is your um, uh, business name or what is your personal name if you're a freelancer pretty important at the temperature uh, make it a bit lower because you don't want a lot of variations in this uh, in this particular action you want it to be as close to your template as possible okay so this is the charge PD module <clears throat> after that you're gonna automatically send the email of course, you're going to send it to the email that is being inputted in the form. The subject is going to be, again, we're using the welcome to the team and the first name from his full name. And the content is the result from the ChatGPT module. And after that, we're going to list all the tasks so we can get all the tasks in um, our um, onboarding CRM. So that actually, after 
we can update the status from pending for the um, for the welcome letter filter to send. So the third branch is going to be the branch where we create the folders. We are going to actually share the link with him. So first of all, we create a main folder where we are going to name it his name, ask your name or your company's name. And of course, we uh, here put his email from the form. After that, we create three more folders, the materials dump, the deliverables and the legal documents. And get a sharing link, send him a link. This is a pretty, pretty easy branch. You, you shouldn't have any, any issues with that. Of course, here the content is going to be a bit more uh, like a template because you are going to give him the instructions, what each folder stands for and what he is going to expect with the deliverables and what he should actually give you, like what content materials he should put in that content materials dump folder. And uh, this is the automation. It's pretty plain, pretty simple. We're going to run it once so you can see.